I'm gonna try and do this in my mood, uh, or the stress that I'm under anyway. This is Zombie Apocalypse Diaries. I'm uh, driving through uh, Seacliff. Uh, anyway, uh, I've gone into, uh, I've run into stop and go traffic about eight times now, and all of it occurs where there is a merge. What does that say? Well, I'm going to let you think about that for a minute. I have run into traffic eight times. Always, it has been the result of a merge. The result of three lanes going to two, or four lanes going to three, etc., etc. Now, why is that? Why is it worse today than it is on other days? There's no more traffic than other days. What is today? Today is, I'm going to go enjoy myself on Memorial Day day. Not, I'm going to go celebrate Memorial Day with everyone else day. Get it? So I want to get ahead because I'm going to go enjoy Memorial Day. Not, let's merge because we all want to enjoy Memorial Day. This is what I mean about what's wrong with our society. We are very individualistic. We are very self-centered. We only think of ourselves. We cannot be a society if we only think for ourselves. Or of ourselves, excuse me. We can only be a society if we think for ourselves, which we don't. You know, what we have is only effective because everybody thinks the same. Or at least most people, and that's why I'm so treated the way I am, banished, ran out of town because I don't comply with your belief in how everyone should behave. Well, conformity does not make for a society, especially not your your uh, level of insanity. You know, what makes for a society is everybody having a common goal, very, very basic goal. What is our very, very basic goal? To survive as a nation and flourish. As a nation. No, but what is your individual goal? To get rich. Okay, how do you get rich? By exploiting people. By exploiting fellow Americans. So how does that make America flourish? How does that make for happiness for everyone if you're making someone miserable so that you can be happy? I'm just saying, if we all had a common goal, let's, let's say Sunday, day before Memorial Day, we're going to go enjoy something. How about our common goal be to enjoy Memorial Day weekend? And how about we recognize that that is our common goal? Mostly. Not everyone is going to be wanting to enjoy Memorial Day. So if you see someone going somewhere looking like they're not enjoying Memorial Day, leave them alone because they're not enjoying the common goal for the day. But, if everybody on the road understood that everybody's trying to enjoy Memorial Day, then merging would be a lot easier, wouldn't it? Because you would understand that, well, most people are trying to enjoy Memorial Day. Not everyone, but most people. So, you come in, and if, you know, the five or six people you run into that day aren't actually on their way to enjoy Memorial Day, why do you, why do you come and break anyway? You know, they're, they're obviously on their way to do something. Maybe it's more important than enjoy Memorial Day. You know, don't assume they're going to celebrate Russia's victory in, in, with Stalin or some shit just because you don't, they don't, they're not going to enjoy Memorial Day like you are. You know, just because someone isn't doing what you think they should be doing doesn't mean that they you should treat them differently. They have their reasons. They're individuals. They have their own lives. Common goals should not be things like, oh, let's all enjoy Memorial Day weekend. No, it should be, let's all enjoy life and flourish. So, I don't know, those are just my thoughts. Nobody fucking listens. Nobody gives a shit. So, I guess my thoughts will just sit here on the internet until someone thinks about it and says, hey, you know that guy that died while trying to move his boat? Because no one would help him? Yeah, he was right. Wow. We should have listened to him. Maybe we should have helped him with his boat so he didn't die. Man, he'd make for a good president or advisor or author or philosopher. Well, hell, man. We can produce his show and get him some get him some help and see how far and well it does. I mean, Jesus, he's got some good ideas. It's just a 
thought, man. It's just a thought. Bill Hicks had his bad days too, you know. And he has good days, like the day in Chicago when he raked the audience with calls for depriving the very few people that wanted to listen, wanted to hear what Bill had to say of that opportunity because they wanted to be snickering little sniveling shits shout out how popular they are and how they can disrupt things because most people think it's funny to disrupt the ability of the few to enjoy what the many are incapable of just a thought that's all I'm saying it's just a thought